welcome to Toronto, Canada. This is one of the first homes for Jan and I, and I'm so excited because today we're doing our first vlog in this channel. And of course, what better place than a botanical garden? This is actually the Allen Gardens Botanical Garden, and I cannot wait to actually take you in with me. So let's go. Okay, my friends, before we get in, I wanted to share with you that we're actually standing right now in what's historically being a land that has been taken care of and protected by many First Nations. And these First Nations include the Mississaugas, the Chippewas. So I just wanted to pay respect to that. And uh, yeah, actually this land is called Toronto, as you may know. And Toronto means where the trees meet the water which is a beautiful meaning because actually we have the Lake Ontario here and a lot of nature. So yeah, okay, let's get in. out for a very nice lady that works here that we're actually in the tropical house and the orchid house and as you can see behind me we have many orchids here and oh my god we just learned about this orchid right here this one actually blooms from the bottom these are actually the blooms they're gonna bloom sometime after so we didn't get to see them but actually she told us that it's the most spectacular bloom that you have ever seen Okay, you guys, the plants are amazing here. You can see some Spanish moss here and some other moss over there. It's beautiful. Guys, other than the Spanish fern, I actually just found an air plant. And actually, it looks like a, many of them together. It's a Tilantia. And actually, I really love the color because it's red. I've never seen that red, that intense of a red in a Tilantia. So it's really beautiful, actually. This is the most relaxing place. We have some water and we have some turtles there. Oh my God, so many turtles. I can tell you it's a very tropical feel here. We have some orchids over here. At least these ones are blooming so we could see some color. We have some crotons here. I can tell you the crotons is one of my favorite plants. It's super easy and also look at the color. It really pops out. And I love it because it looks like dinosaurs almost. Over here we have a very happy fiddle fig tree and if you have had a fiddle fig tree you know that this is not the most easy plant but here it looks pretty happy. Now this is actually a very good lesson because also this one even though it looks really happy we have some dry leaves here. So of course it always depends on the environment and many other factors and you know even in a greenhouse you can also see some dry leaves. to show you some beautiful bromelias that we that we found and actually they just bloom so they're really beautiful it looks like they're from the sea this one is called Aismia del Mar which in Spanish means from the sea so I think it's beautiful I just wanted to show you I've never seen this flower we can see other bromelias here also very beautiful and as you can see this one is just blooming our first anthurium but this one is actually beautiful because it's variegated this is actually a leaf to attract the insect and pollinators so they can come to the flower which is this one right here it's so special you guys and i'm so happy that i can share it with you <laughs> here we have another very happy fiddle fig tree i've never seen such a big fiddle fig tree but of course if you have one make sure to send a picture because i always love to see your plants but, oh my god, it's so beautiful, guys. This place is really calm, I gotta say. Oh my god, look at these flowers. I just saw the color, it really pops up. 
There over here we have a Diefenbachia and it looks really happy too. It's really enjoying the habitat. <laughs> and as you can see we have many blooms right now. Right now it's actually October. So look, we have some blooms here, but if you know, actually it looks like some kind of berry because we have some berries over here. But if you know, let us know. And sorry, there's some construction, so if you can hear it, yeah, you get the whole experience. <laughs> More crotons over here. Oh, I love these plants. If you have a croton, let me know in the comments and send a picture. We found another bromeliad here and look at the colors, guys. I just cannot get over how bright they are. They're really, really beautiful. And you can see actually how the reds and the pinks really stand out from all the green leaves. Okay, you guys, as I told you before, today is October the 2nd and many plants are blooming actually. We've seen some over here. This one is just coming out and it's just so nice to actually be witness of this, like so many flowers in the plants in fall. <laughs> Look at this one, wow. It feels that we're in, like we're in the jungle. Actually, I've been trying to get this plant for a while for our home. It's a little bit harder to get, but hopefully we can get it because it's so beautiful. Again, here we have beautiful flowers just coming out like crazy. Another anthurium here, and this one is a little bit more pink. It's not variegated, but it's also so beautiful. This one, you guys, is a bougainvillea. And actually, it's very close to my heart because when we were in Mexico very little, we used to have this plant growing all over our school. So it's really beautiful. And now we're going really just underneath it. Really nice. It feels like we are in Mexico, no? Many tropical plants here. Other crotons over here, again. And look at this, these lilies. They're so thick. And we have some variegated types here. I've never seen a variegated leaf like that for the peace lily. So you have some white and some green. And then you have the green leaves here for the peace lily. Okay, so let's go to the next pavilion. Okay, you guys, so we have entered the temperate pavilion and this pavilion, I really love it because the temperatures are going down. So it's a colder temperature. We have many pine trees and many plants that like colder temperatures. And of course, we couldn't miss this one right here. This, of course, is the ivy. And as you may know, this plant like colder temperatures and not so much sunlight. So here we have our first ivy. I'm pretty sure that we're going to see more in this pavilion. So let's get to it. As I told you, I think it's so cool that we're actually seeing so many blooms and in this pavilion we're going to see even more I think. Right now it's the fall but so many plants are blooming. And look at this, we have a pond here and we have many goldfish which is really amazing. So <laughs> I wanted to share with that with you guys. We start to see some more ferns here because as you may know many ferns like colder temperatures. Of course we still have some humidity here. So it's not bad for the fern. And this one seems to be really happy here. So yeah, I wanted to show you. Here we have another English ivy and this is a very good one. So it's really beautiful. And as you can see, it's really long and big. So we can see that it's really happy here. And of course, some flowers here, as I told you, many plants are blooming in this pavilion. And look at this ones. They also look like they're from the ocean or something like this, like a star. Oh my god, look at these palms here, guys. They're so beautiful. And this one right here, look how it falls. Oh my god. So many plants we still have to learn about. <laughs> here we have another really big fern. And as you can see, it's really happy. Like, this room is not as humid as the tropical room. But still, it's very humid. So I think that's why these ferns do really well here. 
more ivy here, of course. <laughs> and look at what we found here. Of course, I had to include the eucalyptus because this plant is super popular in this channel. So as you may know, the eucalyptus is not super easy to take care of, especially indoors because they're really particular about what they like and what they don't like. So I really admire people here in this specific botanical garden because I can imagine even in the winter when you have lots of cold weather, sometimes you don't have so much sunlight, so you can provide more here inside to them. And this one looks really happy, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys. you we have some monstera here <laughs> look how big it is guys so you remember lupita this one is i think bigger than lupita for sure but <laughs> yeah i dream of the day that lupita will get this big so yeah she looks really happy i wanted to take you back to the entrance of this pavilion because i found this beautiful calathea look how big it's growing well it has many different stems and leaves this one is the Calathea Sabrina, and as you can see, it's really happy here because of course it's super humid. And as you know, Calatheas love humidity, but just to give you a piece in your heart, look at the leaves here. Some of them are also a little bit dry because these plants really like humidity. And sometimes even here in a greenhouse, they're lacking some humidity because these plants come from tropics, right? So yeah, when I saw that, you know, Everyone tries their best, but it's just a learning process. We have some gigantic banana trees right here. Oh my God. And over here, oh my god, we have another bird nest fern, of course, way bigger than the one we have at home, and it's so beautiful to see it. And look at this, it has new leaves coming out, so we were very lucky to actually witness this. <laughs> and we found the queen of this pavilion, this pack of tree right here, as you can see, it's really growing really, really tall and yeah i mean you can feel that it is thriving in this place guys we just found josefina's cousin right here this is astralitia viganae so a bird of paradise and it has many new leaves it's thriving here and i just wanted to show you because i love when i found new leaves and we found one here so i think this one is either a new leaf or a flower and then we have another one here to be honest i think it's a flower that is going to bloom soon so we're just witnessing how it comes out. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to the other part of the tropical house. And I did not want to pass this because we just discovered something super cool, which is this monstera right here. But actually, it has a fruit. And this is the first time that I see a fruit on a monstera. This is amazing. We have one here and another one over there. Here, for example, we have an Australian tree fern. It's very different than the ferns that we see here in North America, actually. As you can see, the fronts are really small. Over here, we have more of the bougainvilleas that I told you, the white flowers over there. So these ones are white, the ones that we saw before are purple. We have many ferns here, actually. Over here, then we have here, uh, I don't remember, but I'll put it in the video. But we have one in the house also. It almost looks like the blue star fern, but I'm pretty sure that it's a different one. And I wanted to show you these flowers right here. I don't know the name of this plant. It's, it's a kind of vine, I think, because it's actually really growing down. But the flowers are really special. They have a kind of like a spiral in the center. So I think they're really beautiful, guys. I don't know about you, but I used to draw this flower. It's this kind of like a Hawaiian flower in all of my drawings when I was small. Isn't it beautiful? And the color is really popping. And look at this anthurium, you guys. 
This is a very beautiful color. In Berlin, we only find, well, we usually find the pink one, but this is a red anthurium. It's really beautiful. Here we have one of Sally's plants. This one comes from Brazil. And we have a video about it too in the channel. More crotons, of course, because they love humidity. Guys, we just found another oxalis plant right here. And it's blooming. I love the, the flowers of this plant. They're so cute. And I think they really pop out from the green, like the leaves and then the green leaves. It's really beautiful. So I'm so happy that I could show you. And as you can see over there, we have a very big tilansia or air plant. So I, as I have told you before, these plants don't need soil. Actually, they get, they get all of their nutrients and water from around them. So they're gonna be very happy in a place like this one that has lots of humidity because they'll get the, the water from the air. And as you can see, this one is thriving. It's so big. We have some ivy here as we pass to the arid house. Here is a little bit drier. It's not as humid as the tropical places. Of course, because this is the arid house. So we have many succulents and many plants that are happy in the desert. And guys, we actually found our first white opuntia plant, which is of course this cactus right here. We have a very small one and as you can see again, and this plant is really beautiful. And one thing that I noticed is that some of the branches here are actually dried. So this is a very good thing to see as well. Okay, now it's sad because they're dry, but also it's a good lesson for us. Because sometimes we get really harsh on ourselves when our plants are not the happiest. But you know, this happens everywhere. This is a greenhouse and some of the, par some of the parts of this plant are not the happiest. So it's a learning process and it's good to just remember not to be so harsh on ourselves. This one is the Euphorbia mealy. I have never seen it in real life actually. This is the first time. And it's called the crown of thorns because it has thorns at the end and it looks, looks like a crown. It's really beautiful, guys. And it's so nice to share with you because this is the first time that I see this plant specifically in real life. Over here we have Astapelia, Gigantea. We have another Euphoria there. It almost looks like a combination between the Euphoria that we have, the Euphoria trigona that we have in the house, and the African milk tree because it has the leaves. So yeah, it's very interesting. Here we have, I think, some agave, and this reminds me so much of Mexico. Shout out to our Mexicans in the community. And yeah, we have more plants here. Look at this aloe. It's really big, and it's so nice because it's actually growing some new leaves here. Oh, I love to find new leaves. It's really beautiful. I don't know if you remember, but we also have this plant in the house. Of course, ours is really small. This one is also growing new leaves in the center. So it's really nice as well. And I wanted to show you this because it's really cool. This is actually a bird made out of plants. So we have some echeverias. There's like kind of like a moss, some, some moss at the bottom. And it forms the leaves, sorry, the leaves, the wings of the bird. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you guys, so this was a small tour of the Allen Gardens. I hope that you enjoy it. If you would like me to make more of these videos, make sure to like this video so I know, and I'll make more of them so you can enjoy them with me. And as always, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and keep discovering about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, <laughs> ciao.